This past week, two members fired off letters to Commission staff complaining about a lack of information about the panel's agenda and demanding answers about its activities. That comes as Democratic U.S. Senators are requesting a government investigation of the Commission for ignoring formal requests from Congress. The criticism from the Commissioners was remarkable because it came from insiders, the very people who are supposed to be privy to its internal discussions and plans. He said he had received no information about the Commission's research or activities since its last meeting, on September 12. He also said he continued to receive media inquiries about commission developments that I, as a commissioner, am blind to. A commissioner from Alabama, Jefferson County Probate Judge Alan L. King, said he sent a similar letter late last week. He said the only information he has received since the commission's meeting more than a month ago was an email informing him of the death of a fellow commissioner, former Arkansas state lawmaker David Dunn. Requests for comments sent to Kosick, the Commission's Executive Director, and the Commission's Vice Chairman, Kansas Secretary of State Chris Kobuk, were not returned. J. Christian Adams, a Commission member who was a Justice Department attorney under former President George W. Bush, said in an email that all Commissioners were receiving the same information. The Commission has stirred controversy from the moment it was established last spring. Critics say Trump is using it to find support for his unsubstantiated claims of widespread voter fraud that cost him the popular vote during the 2016 election. Democrat Hillary Clinton received 2.8 million more votes nationwide than Trump. While there have been isolated cases of voter fraud in the U.S., there is no evidence of it being a widespread problem, as Trump suggests. Critics argue the commission is stacked with people who favor voting restrictions rather than those who want to expand access, and that the Commission has a predetermined agenda that will result in recommendations making it more difficult for people to register to vote, stay registered, and cast ballots. Its first significant action was to request a wide range of information about all registered voters in every state, including partial social security numbers, dates of birth, addresses, and voting history. The Commission scaled back its response after stinging criticism. A tally by Associated Press reporters nationwide shows that 15 states denied the request, raising questions about how useful the information will be. The Commission's secrecy prompted a lawsuit by the Lawyers' Committee for Civil Rights under law, which alleges the Commission is violating federal open meetings and disclosure laws. The group's executive director, Kristen Clark, said she was hard-pressed to